Okay, I said I was going to be up in the morning. Uh, it's coming in about lunchtime. Okay, it's about 12.30 right now. Okay, hope everyone is doing well. Hopefully you're understanding how we're doing the rotations here. Okay, there's a lot on the page. We'll take a couple minutes just to figure out what's going on here, okay? So uh, here's our pre-image. These were the coordinates that were given. So this is the right angle triangle that we were going to be uh, rotating, um, clockwise rotation and a counterclockwise rotation about the origin. There's our origin right there, just so we know about the origin refers to that right there, okay? So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take our right angle triangle, and then what we're gonna do is we are going to rotate it 90 degrees clockwise. So we go for A prime, B prime, C prime. What we're gonna do is we're gonna flip it, okay? So A if it was six and three, now it's three and six. Uh, three and seven, seven and three, three and three, three and three. Remember, flip the coordinates, okay? We're in a plus plus quadrant, so everything is positive here, and we end up having our 90 degree clockwise rotation look like this. I did this in yellow just so we could see what was going on, okay? So check your work, make sure that that's good. All right, now when we go counterclockwise rotation, we are taking, well, my try. I can't use this piece of paper, but anyways, we have this right here, and we have the hypotenuse, and if you actually look at the hypotenuse, it is moving like this. You have this right here, one of these legs that's going to be, um, you know, horizontal to the x-axis, and now it's going to be horizontal to the y-axis, okay? So we're going to do our rotation like that, and now we've got our new shape. This is A, double prime, B, double prime, C, double prime. We are in a negative, negative quadrant, negative x quadrant, negative y quadrant. So all our coordinates are going to have a negative sign in front of it to show that. Again, same thing. When we look to the original pre-image and the, and the ordered pair for A was negative 6 and 3, so or 6 and 3. Again, we're going to flip it, and now we've got 3 and 6. What, what was 3 and 7 is now 7 and 3. What was A, B, ooh. Guy in there, uh, negative or sorry, negative three and three for the C uh, vertices is now negative three and negative three. We flip them; it's the same number, so it's the same thing. We just have to have a negative sign to each one. Okay, so those are the solutions for rotations. Okay, uh, what we're gonna do is so tomorrow there's gonna be a lesson posted. I think probably the last one of the week on. What do we do when we have a shape that is in a couple of quadrants? Okay, so what we'll do is we'll maybe we'll maybe take, you know, we'll maybe take our triangle here, okay, and then instead of having it in one quadrant fully, what we're going to do is we're going to move this over, and we're going to have that, okay, and then we're going to see what what happens. How do we have to deal with that? Okay, so that would be rotations three. We're going to stop there. That's what we need to know for the rotations. And then we'll do a lesson on dilation. Okay. What, like where we're going with this is I'm going to give you an assignment. Um, well, first off, your picture transformation assignment is going to be due tomorrow. You've had a week to work on it. I've already had nine submitted from one class and 15 from another class. Keep them coming in. Go to the assignment. Hit turned in or submit. Attach a picture. Very simple, you guys all have phones or hopefully you can take a picture with an iPad, attach it, that's what everybody's doing. It's nice when it's color coded so you can show me what's happening, okay? Anyways, I digress. When we're finished with the third rotation lesson, we'll do a dilation lesson and then we're gonna have a big assignment that is gonna incorporate all of translation, reflection, rotation, and dilation, okay? Expect that probably at the beginning of next week. And then, as we start May, um, we finished off geometry and we're going to be going into our next unit, which uh, I will let you know on the next video. Have a great day, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.